Greetings, everyone. As Catholics, we believe in something that we call the communion of saints. And what it means is that the people of this world who belong to the church, as well as members of the church who have passed on from us, that we're connected in a very strong and very mystical way. Well, on November the 1st, we celebrate All Saints Day, and November 2nd, we celebrate All Souls Day. This talks to us about the entire church, the, the church here on earth, but then the church in heaven and the church in what we call purgatory. I just want to explain just a little bit. First of all, when we talk about All Saints Day, we're talking about all those people who have lived in this world and who are now with God in heaven. And for many saints, I mean, the church has declared a, a great number of people to be saints, to actually, we, that we know that this particular person is now with God in heaven. And with those particular individuals, we draw inspiration by looking at their way of life. We, uh, we gain in confidence to know that we also can one day go to heaven if we imitate them. And so different things like that are things that we draw from when we know of a particular person, like a St. Francis of Assisi or somebody else like that, who we know now is in heaven. But there are many people who are in heaven that the church hasn't declared formally that this person or that person is a saint. So why do we have a day when we acknowledge all of these people that we don't know by name? Because it's not just to draw inspiration or to, draw, uh, to inspire confidence within us, but it's also that by praying for us, they can obtain things from God to assist us in our journey here on earth so that one day we can join in their happiness in heaven. As a matter of fact, the saints are ones who want us to go to heaven more than we want to go to heaven. If I ask somebody, do you want to go to heaven? Most of the time a person will say, yes, I want to go to heaven. But we do very little about it. The saints who are in heaven know the joy. They know the struggles that we have. They understand how difficult it is. But now they know the joy. They know how much it's worth it. And so they're there to encourage us, to inspire us, to, to strengthen us so that we can go through the difficulties of this life and one day join them in happiness in heaven. So that's why we have a day for all saints, not just the ones that we know are saints, but all saints, all those who are now with God in heaven, so that they can obtain for us spiritual goods to assist us so that one day we can be with them. Now, All Souls Day is the, we're celebrating the, the souls who are in purgatory. People who have lived their life in friendship with God in this world, but haven't put in maybe as much effort as they maybe should have, and aren't perfect yet. And so they have to go through a purifying process before they can enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now for us, we can't offer the saints in heaven every, anything because they already share in heavenly glory. They can do something for us. The souls in purgatory are different though because we can offer something to them. We can pray for them so that their time in purgatory will be shortened so that one day they can go to heaven. Everybody who goes to purgatory eventually goes to heaven. We can just help them so that their time is, uh, is a little bit quicker, that they're able to get to heaven more quickly than otherwise they might have. But they can also do things for us. They can obtain for us spiritual goods to help us also on our, our, on our pilgrimage here in this world. So those are the ones that we celebrate at the very beginning of November. November the 1st, All Saints, where we, we remember all those who are in heaven, and we ask them to pray for us, to help us, so that we can one day join in their happiness. And November 2nd, which is All Souls Day, where we remember the souls in purgatory, those who are still awaiting their entrance into the kingdom of heaven, because they have to be purified, because some of their attachment to this world has to, be, uh, has to be wiped away. And we pray for them, and we ask them to pray for us, so that we exchange these kinds of spiritual goods to help one another on our road to the kingdom of heaven. God bless you.